And hi there, welcome to another Incredible Hulk podcast. This is Graham joining me this evening. It's Sue and Alex. How are we doing, guys? Really right. good. Good right. to see you again. Yeah, good to have you guys, as always. Um, and tonight's episode, folks, is the final episode of the original TV run. It's season five, episode seven, with a minor problem. And it really was a minor problem, because the bloody town was deserted. But we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, as, as, as I alluded to, a minor problem. David shows up in an abandoned town, and this opening six or seven minutes of this episode is kind of weird because David John is awesome. Yeah. And, uh, and the town is spookily deserted. Your cast for this one, as always, you have your regulars of Bill Bixby as David Banner and Luther Rigno as the Marine Green Fighting Machine, the Incredible Hulk, once again. You have the guest cast of Nancy Lee <clears throat> Gone as uh, Patty Newton. You have Leiden Killed as Mr. Cunningham, the notorious, uh, arch- the, blah, 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 excuse me, <clears throat> it's been a long day. The notorious instigator behind this whole outbreak of the E. coli virus within this town. Uh, you also have a couple of looters in town uh, who are trying to do a little bit of Christmas shopping early. They are able, oh, they are able to play by if my phone would work. You have Lisa Jane Persky as Rita. You have Gary. Yeah, yeah, as uh, that sparring, yeah, Yeah. and Xander Barkley as Tom. I believe that was the other guy's name. Yeah. So yeah, those are the 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 three I was trying to take some uh, free food and whatever the town may have going because they believe it's just chlorine that's been uh, unleashed on this poor town, and it turns out it's the uh, E. coli boy. Uh, e- <clears throat> I'm having a nightmare tonight, folks. My apologies. Uh, e. coli virus. Yeah. So, so the, the let me let me jump in here. Yeah. <clears throat> Chlorine gas is uh, is re- it's released when you mix, you know, cleaning chemicals, and you end up with something that stops the stuff that little membrane in your lungs from being able to breathe. Mm-hmm. And uh, and it's mm-hmm. and it's rather quick acting. Uh, it just killed somebody in a town nearby us, and then oh. also E. <clears throat> coli has killed some people recently in a town near us. Mm. So um, honestly, like we were just like, what, yeah, really commenting how timely this is for us. Yeah, so, the, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I mean, chlorine and its purest form won't really do anything to you. I mean, nine times. Then it's just used to clean your local swimming pools or your or your or things like that. Um, but they're, they're, it's already to the wrong amount, and you could be in trouble. So um, yeah. So anyway, to set this episode up, David stumbles upon this little town, deserted, and uh, you know the first seven eight minutes of this thing, he's trying to. Well, where is everybody? He stumbles off. He goes into a few cafes. No one there. He goes into the local grocers. It's oh, it's playing the radio. Uh, so he, he, he eventually gives up and takes refuge on the park bench, leaving us a point in town where the local telephone box starts ringing, and he picks it up and no one answers. And then he meets a, a little four-legged friend who uh, is divulging some turkey or chicken bone, whatever the hell that was. And unfortunately, if you're a, an animal lover in this episode, it might upset you because the poor little doggy gets sick. Um, yeah, that's sad. Uh... Yeah, so um, that, that that's no good, you know, that, that that's no good. But, as I say, that's basically your setup until you find out that uh, by the aid of uh, a gun and her quick thinking, Patty is also in town, and she's determined to ascertain the papers that Mr. Cunningham has in his office, uh, illustrating the fact that he's actually with E. coli as opposed to mild-mannered coding. Unfortunately... The E. coli is in the air and starting to affect them, and you slowly see it uh, rehabilitate them throughout the episode. But anyway, open the thoughts on this episode, guys. What do you reckon? Uh, a minor problem? Um, it was timely, and in our in our world, uh, there were mm. lots of people affected by chlorine, and uh, a guy died from that, and a couple died in, from E. coli. And so, mm. I mean, it's these things are nothing to mess around with. 
but the 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 people who were coming in to to rob the place were or loot the place were just a, just a bunch of widows, really. Yeah, right. You know. Um, they were they were right that once chlorine dissipates, it's okay. Um, mm -hmm. while it's in the air, it's noxious, but super. Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, I I, I liked it. Um, it's it is strange that that they ended this. Uh, series this way, they probably didn't know that it was going to be off I, going on. I, I don't think they realized this was the end. No, um, yeah. as far as far as they were away, it was just a half season, uh, which is why there was only seven episodes, yeah. and they were intent to come back, and obviously it never got picked back up until the the first batch of movies in the, in the late eighties. So, right. okay, here's Alex. Uh, well, I mean, it, it was you know an interesting setup, and you didn't need a lot of special effects and all that. <laughs> I, I don't know if they stretched a look too long, but then again, uh, you know, back then this was an interesting idea. Uh, Chemical warfare. Yeah. Not bad for the oil, you know. Yeah, so it was, uh, you know, the, it did sort of drag on a little bit. But, well, the, uh, what, 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 the concept was sublimely simple, if you think about it. Yeah. You know, uh, the, the, the main objective of the story was to get the papers in the safe. Right. Um, yeah. You know, um, she was cute. I mean, it was they had a good they had a good other actress in that Nancy Lee lady. Um, she she played Patty. Yeah, uh, yeah, Patty, yeah, yeah. And she was like trying to trying to get evidence of this yeah. of how they, they this guy this company was using this town. Yeah. Uh, if, if I was somewhat confused about one thing, it's what exactly were the company trying to achieve by unleashing this virus? Was, was there money involved? That was no, that wasn't really explained. I mean, well, they came in with the radiation suits on. They were making sure that the town was empty. Uh, and then they obviously stumble upon Rita and Tom's bodies in the truck after the, uh, you know, pimped out and, and on the park bench. Um, yeah. yeah, Rita was a bitch. I'm glad she died. I mean, he coli's he coli. He called nothing to laugh about, but nah, she was a bitch. But no, I think, I mean, what, what, what was Mr. Cunningham's main objective here? He, he unleashed the E. coli virus upon the town to do what? I don't know, but yeah, it made, it made know, the incredible yeah. all come out. Yeah, that didn't yeah. make a lot of sense. Yeah, I mean, no, if he was, was in it to test the virus, to, to sell it on to someone, Fine, that, that would make sense, but that wasn't explained. Um, uh, no, I think it was, but the problem was, I guess they didn't or they couldn't keep it up. And it's kind of like, okay, now you've poisoned the town. Right. People might not come back, so I don't know. It's weird. You know, I don't know what. Uh, mm. I mean, we, 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 we should point out that David's initial reason for being there was that he had a job application for the local science lab. Yeah. For, the, for the lab uh, that Cunningham wrote. Yeah, for the lab that unleashed this virus, which was ironic. Um, and uh, as you say, when they got there, the whole town was deserted, apart from Wee Fido and uh, and Patty. And, and, and wasn't it so. wasn't it just a little bit like Umbrella Corp? A little bit. Yeah. Uh, Resident Evil, uh, maybe stretching it a tad. And, uh, but, but I guess you <laughs> similarities, I suppose. You know, yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, it was Patty. It wasn't Jill Valentine talking about with a bazooka. You know. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, except for the yeah, except for the looters, it was like you know, even I started making fun, going, you know, is this a Twilight Zone episode? And like, <laughs> yeah, mm. you know, and then Bill Bixby should. I don't remember if he was in the Twilight Zone, but almost everybody yeah. else that he acted with was, especially yeah. if they were of a certain age. As I say, once you get past the first fifteen minutes of that story, it really has a simple, basic plot. It's 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 a race against time to. For Patty to obtain the papers and find the cure, or a deterrent to buy them more time until they get the cure. I kind of remember the name of the two antibiotics they mentioned. Um, yeah. That would what one would cure it, cure them. The other one would delay it and give them a bit more time. Oh. And I think it's the, it's the second one that they actually found in the in the medical bay. Sorry, um, I didn't I didn't write those down, but yeah. Yeah, there the was two. Then we, we apologize, folks, but the names of those drugs escaped me. I'm no one for pharmaceutical. Uh, yeah. Terms and things like that, but yeah. So it was, it's essentially a race against time. You've got Patty and David, um, you know, yeah. Patty's adamant she ain't leaving or getting fixed until she finds these papers. And uh, yeah. yeah, so it's a race against time with that. So obviously, 
Cunningham and his goons go in with their yellow radiation suits, something like Homer Simpson would wear in, in the power plant. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, they, they try and uh, start de de cleaning up the town and, you know, trying to erase all existence of the fact that folk were there and whatnot. Then they stumble upon your two, two your three looters who uh, snuffed it, <laughs> as we all did too. Yeah. yeah. Screw them. The one that survived was that was that Tom or, Spar or Sparling? Uh, well, I I think he survived because the last I seen him, he was passing out in a cupboard yeah. as David was hulking out. So um, yeah, yeah. I think he survived, and uh, they get left in the cupboard about like Hitler and Doctor Who, you know. Um, <laughs> yeah. So um, I'm not too sure on that one, folks, but. Yeah, he was the, the, the fellow who was on the brink of death, close to hallucinating um, and all that. So that would explain, the, obviously, the second Hulk. The two Hulk hooks in this episode, what do you reckon, guys? Um, the, the first one happened when he was, uh, when he was uh, starting to feel the effects of the, the stuff. And, and he... The E. coli, yeah. Yeah, the E. coli. And he, uh, he helped out and... But he, he he came over to to the dog and uh, yeah 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 after chasing away Tom and Rita and, and, and yeah I mean he uh, just uh, 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 town, you know he he helped the dog um, yeah that was it, it, again again Lou had a chance to to show both you know rage and compassion and hmm. and uh, and rar and and rar yeah, yeah. and and then the, the silent the strong silent type. I, I'm surprised we didn't have a spin-off after this. Raw and rough, but um, <laughs> yeah, that may have been cool, you know. But yeah, the, well, the Incredible Hulk in his dog. Yeah, well, there you go. There is that. There is that. It's called Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, but that was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be careful. We laugh your nuts. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, there's not really a lot in this. I mean, it's it's a good solid watch, but it. it the key plot points are really minimalistic at best. It's um, they end up back at the uh, at the laboratory. They find uh, the as mentioned earlier the, the medicine, antibiotics. Yeah. the antibiotic to uh, stave it off for a little while until they're able to gain access to Cunningham's safe. They do so, but by that time, Cunningham and his guns have found Tom and Rita's body in the truck and went, "Oh, hang on, there's somebody missing here." Quick, back to the lab, and. Um, yeah, just as they, they acquire the papers they were looking for, um, they're busted. Yeah. And um, I, I, I must say, though, David and the other uh, fellow are, are detained, uh, thrown in the, the, the earlier formation closet that we alluded to, uh, where the second Hulk out takes place. And this part of the episode I found really tedious after a while. The longest chase for Patty in living history, up and down oh, stairs and corridors. I, I, I was expecting wackadee sack for the Benny Hill show to start playing <laughs> halfway through this montage. It really was, folks. I mean, and then somehow she runs down the stairs again and she gets to the truck. And you're going, you just went in that set of stairs five times already. How is it? Uh, Same yeah. Set. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, someone messed up in the edit there, folks. But what can you do? It's the early 80s and they, 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 they work with what, they, what they've got. So, cutting them obviously detains her in the car and then back upstairs to go. And um, this is when we get the second Hulk out and uh, fumbling with a lift. Yeah. Your, your, your views on fumbling with a lift and getting the bikinis out of dastardly Cunningham? Yeah, I liked, I liked how they, uh, the elevator, or the, yeah, the lift, the elevator. Lift, elevator, however you call it, folks. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Like he, how he, 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 was, he, he was able to open the, the doors and uh, force the thing to the right kind of floor. Mm -hmm. He just kind of lifted it up, and that was, that was good. Fumbling with the, <laughs> the lift, yeah, there mm -hmm. you go. I have to mention once again, I have to revert back to the scene in the park where uh, your free looters are getting dealt with after Hulk. I'm sorry, but uh, Spalling and Tom were screaming before they were thrown again. And that's that's a constant in the show. The, the, the audio doesn't seem to sync up with the action sometimes. Um, whoever's doing, whoever was doing ADR back then... Um, I don't know if they were on the, the night shift or what, but they, they don't. Uh, <laughs> you were a few seconds behind on that, boys. So yeah, they get, they, um, get, it, they, get 
they ju- they jump ahead as as I'll yeah say. yeah the audio seems to be just ahead of the picture and you're going oh dear um, <laughs> I but, didn't notice but now I will not now I'll never be able to unnotice yeah yeah I, 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 again I don't know if they just kept it in as a common gag as part of the charm of the show but um, it does happen in a lot of episodes so um, so what do you think it, of the other Hulk out Alex yeah. No, the Hulk out was fun. I mean, like I said, it it wasn't it wasn't bad. It just it was an mm. interesting idea. Unfortunately, they couldn't do. I don't know if they ran out of money or they couldn't do much with it. Or you know, well, it was the last episode technically. Last I mean, episode. yeah, you know. I mean, for the last episode, you'd think it'd be a little better. <clears throat> Again, they, 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 they didn't. Know. They, they didn't. Do, you know, maybe they uh, did it on purpose because they knew they thought maybe they were going to get renewed or. Uh, I think back back then they were just under the impression, okay, we're doing a half season this year, uh, right. and they were coming back, but obviously they never. So. Well, I mean, they came back in TV movies, but again. Well, yeah, 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 I meant like season six or yeah. whatever. You know, the other but, thing too is that then you run into the weirdness of either a one-year show, two-year show, five-year show kind of gets tired, and then some shows last for eight seasons 12 seasons and then everybody starts going please cancel this show please, you know well yeah I, 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 right. this one really uh, wasn't that though right no, i i always say a good run for a show as long as the writing remains solid is between six and eight seasons right yeah yep. so yeah so that's the other issue with the incredible hulk is five seasons the writing isn't bad and the scenarios usually aren't bad but then you have mm. to deal with special effects the makeup the editing mm. and they did as as cool as the show is they didn't mm. have a lot of mistakes with editing and no no say just, just the adl thing we mentioned earlier but that's uh yeah, it's, it's facing too because the other issue too is people forget that back in those days mm. not everybody had a vcr so you actually might miss a scene or you might miss a conversation not only because of the commercials and weather and emergencies and things mm. like that, you didn't have you know cell phones and all that. But when they but when they replayed her running down the stairs, that isn't exactly what what you need what you're meaning here. Right? No, I know. <laughs> no, 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 no. That no, was no. just that was just reusing the same shot. Right. And that's sort of a, a trope. That's um, one, that's something that, that a lot yeah. of shows do. Yeah. Well, that's that's why you have you know bad movie theater or whatever because you would have. You know, really bad editing or movies mm-hmm. gone. You know, for too many minutes of driving or whatever. <laughs> you know, because that's the thing. Back then, we, <laughs> back then we didn't have the internet, guys, so but the like, editing was bad. Like, like Graham <laughs> was saying, this it was it, this went on a lot longer. Yeah, than no, there's yeah. definitely some scenes that you could tell that they, you know, they didn't <laughs> shoot it too well or whatever. I, 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 I mean, I'm sorry, but to go through that lab up and in that all the old stairs and hallways and and, and you're you're sitting there going. Um, either Cunningham's really so and stupid, or yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 right, yeah. yeah, yeah. As I say, I was expecting wackety sack for the Benny Hill show to start point. Yeah, but um, I last one ever got that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah I mean, the, the, uh, it's kind of weird because by the end of this, it all gets resolved. Um, everybody gets the medicine and the antibiotic they need to. Stave off the EQI, even little Fido. I, I, I never could quite call oh, it. The, the, the I don't know even if, if the dog was credited with a name, and oh, I don't it, think it was. The dog wasn't credited. No, no. So we'll, 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 we'll remain with Fido, shall we? Even he was okay. I just, the only guy we don't know what happened to was, uh, was, was it Spelling, the, 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 the guy who was yeah. in it, and, and uh, yeah, and the and the closet. He was a part of left in the closet. Um, <laughs> A, a, a trope and a term you kind of get away with in 2019, <laughs> but, but um, yeah. So yeah. Um, they, they they dropped the ball with that character. We don't know what happened there. We assume he survived, but it was never shown on TV. It was it was a Stargate Universe moment, you know. That yeah, they, just uh, in the closet for the rest of eternity. Uh, yeah, there you go. Maybe he ended up in Narnia. Who knows? But um, nice. So yeah, so basically they, they leave the, the lab, the party has her papers, and they drive off, and David utters the line, we're all going to be okay, they drive off into the 
the landscape, and then it just cuts to David walking along the, the fields and on his merry way again. Yep. And that's the end of the series, basically. The talk about series. What? Talk, t- talk about the um, somewhat anticlimactic back game. They didn't know that they were coming back. Um, right. I, I mean, I, I thought that they would at least, you know, put a bumper at the end. Well, but again, you know, that's the other thing. I mean, now it's even worse because unless it gets leaked onto the internet, you don't even know if a show's getting canceled. At least back then, you know, you could have a chance of saving a show. Yeah. But the thing is, again, true. There was they only, did that for Star Trek. Yeah. Well, no, not not. That's not what I mean. Oh, um, okay. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, yeah. I mean, I think they really could have only done 20 more stories, and then they really would have probably had to update. And a TV movie is a lot easier to update in a way than than a, than a tw- 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 twenty more stories would have been another season, and I would say right. six to eight seasons. You know, I mean. Right, and and the thing is, <clears throat> I guess all I have to do is summarizing and lettering oh. or grading this sucker. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, closing thoughts. I uh, I don't want to get E. coli, and I don't want to breathe chlorine, and I don't want to die from. Chemical warfare, well, very much. Well, we're all going to do that. It's the question of how, when, and where, but... No, no, no. I don't want to die from chemical warfare. Thank oh, you. chemical warfare. Okay, and, right. And, yeah. and, and, uh, and I do love The Incredible Hulk, and I love uh, Lou Ferrigno's performance. He got he got more nuanced and more nuanced as time went on. Mm. Bill Bixby was always always had to be nuanced, but, but Bert, Lou Ferrigno got more and more nuanced. And so I'll give this uh, a B minus, and and yep. for the for the uh, you know the, the slowness of it and stuff, and the fact that they didn't do anything to like put at the end. So that was that mm. would been a lot, you know, a lot okay. richer. So here's Alex. Alex. Uh, yeah, I would give it a C plus. It's a good idea in theory. It's just the execution, the editing, and the sort of repeating of scenes. I don't know if they had to do that. Mm. I don't know if it was the version. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes they had that. I mean, back in those days, sometimes they had a bad version of it or they had something that was edited or they had something that somehow it, it just wasn't, it just wasn't done correctly or you had. Okay. Scene. But I, I'd say, um, yeah, I'd say it was a good. It was good in theory. Um, the execution wasn't great. At first, I thought it was a Twilight Zone episode. Uh, yeah, which isn't necessarily bad. No, uh, but it's not the Incredible Hulk either. Uh, True. <laughs> so, yeah, like I said, it, it's a good thing for the TV movies because if this wasn't the only thing that was going to be remembered for, then it'd be a little depressing. Um, I can cover that. It's a decent story. No, something I'd end a series on them. But again, as we've already to folks here, they were unaware they weren't coming back. Um, I'd probably use a B. Decent concept with all co- the chemicals and uh, the the erosion into the atmosphere type thing. But let's be honest, Mr. Cunningham as the villain was kind of weak. I mean, you couldn't even catch a a pretty young thing like Patty running up, running up into a corridor for flying out loud. I mean, you know, um, kind of weak villain, but at the same time, the, the, the subject matter was an interesting one, so you, you kind of really grumbled. The guest cast was solid, and your regulars were as tip-top as ever, so, um, yeah. Enjoyable 47 minutes, folks. Just the same, it was the last one. And the fact that there was there was no bookend to Sue I did to that might have helped ease the transition into your, your free movies uh, five, six years down the road. So, with that, guys, we are done with this recording. In the meantime, guys, Sue, Alex, thanks for joining us as ever. Sure. Yeah, thank you. Yep. And as always, folks, Sue. Rawr, don't hook up. Brother. Good night, folks. Yeah.